Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the maximum score of a good array. It is a lead code hard, but it won't be a hard problem if you watch the video till this end because I am going to tell you a super simple approach to this problem. So the number for this is 1793. In this question, you are given with an array of integers nums and an integer k. And you are given something like a score of a subarray. So what is the score of a subarray? So a score of a subarray ij is de defined as the minimum of a all the elements between i and j i to j multiplied by j minus i plus 1 and a good subarray is a subarray which in which i uh, i comes first then k then j that means k is in between i and j so let's see first example so in this question uh, we will have the most optimal answer as 1,5 because if you take 0, 0,5 the minimum element will be 1 and uh, j minus i will be 5 minus 1 5 minus 0 plus 1 that is 6 into 1 so that will be the answer will be 6 but in this case the maximum answer is 5 my uh, the minimum is 3 and the multiplication is 5 minus 1 that is 4 plus 1 5 so that is 3 into 5 that is 15 this is the maximum possible answer for this so i am going to tell you a super simple approach in this so the simple approach is this that uh, you can start with k you you can only take an element a uh, nums of k that is also a subarray because every individual element of array is also a subarray so start with the arr of k or nums of k and expand on both sides checking uh, keeping a check on the minimum minimum element and also keeping a check that which side is greater then expanding on that side first like if you are on a k and you want to increase on left or right you check the left element or the right element whichever is greater you move toward that side so let's come to the code but before that please do like the video Please share it with your friends and please subscribe to the channel. So, let's start the code. First of all, we will take something like in the rest to store the result. And in this we can store the nums of k because we are starting from nums of k as I told you and we will expand on both sides. Now we can take mini for keeping a track of the minimum element because a minimum element is required so that um, uh, we have to multiply to calculate the score of the good subarray so we have taken mini which keeps the track of the minimum element occurring then we have i at j i at k then we have j at k and we have n equal to nums dot length so these variables are required by our algorithm this is a two pointer approach we will move one by one expanding the subarrays then we will go till either i is greater than equal to 0 or j is less than n minus 1 till either of the conditions is true we will move <coughs> inside the for I mean value and then if we check if i equal to 0 that is i pointer reaches the start then we have to increase the j pointer otherwise if else if j reaches the end j reaches the end then we cannot move the j pointer we have to move the i pointer minus minus else if uh, both the conditions are false that is i is not at the charting j is not at the end then we'll compare whichever element is greater like if i minus 1 is greater is smaller than uh, the j plus 1 this means that the j plus 1 is greater so we'll increase the j counter otherwise we will simply decrement the i pointer 
so this was the logic for expanding of our sub array now we need to write the logic for uh, calculation of the score so we are calculating the score here first of all we will have to keep the track of the minimum element So we keep the track of the minimum element then we keep the maximum of all the scores this was the as per the given logic in the question the score is calculated that is mini into j minus i plus 1 so the maximum of all the scores of the subarray will be stored in this and we have to simply return the result now let's check if this runs fine ok this runs good so yeah see you have completed a hard question in less than uh, 7 minutes and you got a super simple simple approach start with k move towards left or right uh, by checking some conditions calculate the score for the sub array and simply return the time complexity for this question is actually o of n so it is very much a optimal approach and the space complexity is actually here uh, o of 1 because we are not using any uh, linear space we are simply using some variables such as rest mini so the space is also uh, constant so I hope you like the video and understood it please do write understood in the comment section if you uh, understood the logic and uh, thank you for watching the video have a nice day please do 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 subscribe to the channel thank you for watching the video